Hi everybody, welcome back to Charlie and Me, our camping vlog. Hang on a second, I have to let this guy over here. Um, we are making a way down for a revisit to County Cork. We're going down to Cove. We haven't been to Cove in a long, long time. We've only been there uh, the one time myself and Charlie went down, and I think it was in the Heimer. I don't even think we had this, so it was over a year ago. So we're going to make a way. We will give you some road footage. We are actually in Formoy at the moment, if you had seen that video, possibly last week. So we're leaving for Moy and we're making our way down to Cove. Um, there will be some road footage, but you can skip the road footage if you like. And I'll just show, do you know what? There won't be road footage. I'll just show you the footage as we make our way into Cove so you can see the entrance into the areas that are in Cove down by the harbour front. So just a little bit of road footage. I won't give you anywhere to skip and we'll make our way down towards Cove where we're going to be staying overnight. So we made the 25 minute traffic in Cork down as far as the Dunketa Road roundabout, the Jack Lynch Tunnel. Legged it at 120 kilometers, well 110 kilometers for seven minutes and now we're in traffic at Fota Island. My friend Orla who lives in Cove just texted me to say you're going to be 25 minutes sitting in that traffic. It's not even rush hour traffic yet. It's like only 20 to 5. <sighs> the joys of it, huh? And I do think like, so we'll head off early, we get there early. Anyway, enjoy a little bit more road footage. So I forgot to do a piece of video when we came back. Uh, it's always oh, it well after nine o'clock again. We got back from my friend Orla's house after having a beautiful meal. Thank you, Orla and Neil and the two girls for looking after us. Um, I just edited some of today's video and ah, it's, you know what? It's nearly half ten now, so we're going to bed. It's very stormy out now. There's about. 10 vans here now at the moment so we're well sheltered there's a little bit of rocking there was a very heavy downpour uh, the diesel heater is acting up in this and it wasn't working but it came on for a few minutes but we're fine um i bought a pair of pajamas with me i got the duvet and i got this little duvet here so we will talk to you tomorrow morning and let you know how we got on here tonight in cove i love this place absolutely love it and we'll have a chat tomorrow morning and finish out this video. So take care. Good night. Good morning, people. It's five minutes to nine on the Saturday morning. We're in Cove. I'm going to turn this camera and show you what it's like. I'm showing you the non-glamorous side of camping because it's not like on Instagram and all the American YouTube channels where the sun is shining and it's a beautiful day. So hang on till I just uh, turn around and show you where we are. Now, this is Cove and it's called the five foot because of the width of this walkway here. And you can walk from way down there all the way up there to past the train tracks, up the ladder and all the steps and all the way into town. And the boats tend to come in here. The uh, cruisers come in here and they park in here during the summer. There's about 10, maybe 12 vans here. A few more came in last night. Uh, you have fishing boats, you have, oh, do you know what? Hall Bolin is over there, which is our naval base. It's just literally through that gate there. 
as I say, train station is just there. Heard a few trains last night, but they come in here slow because they're coming into park. We had thunderous rain, tremendous rain all night last night from when I said goodnight to you just after 10 o'clock. All, all night, I think I woke twice. Once at a quarter past 12 with some boy racers, that was it. And then after that, we slept right through. I think I was turning over about 3 a.m. and it was still raining. And then about 7.30 when I woke, the rain had stopped, but it started again at about 7.40. And as I say, it's now just nine o'clock and the rain has more or less stopped. But look at those guys. Because it's a revisit, it's not going to be the longest video in the world. There are spaces here for 30 vans. There is now a porty loo toilet, just one. You pay by card or cash on a meter. The meter is out of action this weekend. There is a place to get rid of your grey water and your black water, and there is fresh water as well. I'll bring you down to that station just to show it to you in a couple of minutes. Um, seven minute walk into town loads of places to eat drink and be merry loads of things to do here during the summer you can get the ferry out to spike island which used to be a prison i don't think you can go on to hall bolan because as i say it's a navy base i think i'm not sure but i think there are river cruises but when a river cruiser when we were here last year actually it could have been the year before one of our first videos when we woke up there was a massive big american cruiser parked right in front of us and it was fantastic to see it there's a train track just there and then the road, very, very quiet. Right, let me show you where the facilities are and then we'll get back in, we'll make some breakfast and we'll do a wrap up. This guy here is happy out getting all his smells and having his wheeze. Uh, there are plenty of bins along route, so please do clean up after you. You see that pail in there? When the 30 spaces are filled, some people park um, on the other side of that barrier alongside that paling please don't do that there are signs of saying not to do it if you're the 31st camper go somewhere else please it's just to keep our name good as good as we can right i'm going to walk up now and show you the facilities okay guys let me show you the uh, i love these little bumblebees because that area is for the pollinators now you see this fence along here this is the fence i was telling you do not park along so camper van parking here there is water there, toilet disposal there. The meters are out of order. No change given, you can tap. But as you can see from there, out of order. Um, I'll put a photograph up of the minimum display. It does say the following are not to be used. Awnings, tables, chairs, camping equipment, uh, generators, freestanding generators. And I will say there was a chap here last night using a freestanding generator. They have put a porty loo in, which I think is fantastic. Uh, I, I think it's open at certain times. I'm not going to see if it's open now. Plenty of bins, which is the recycling center anyway. And here's what we have staying here this weekend. And a playground for the kids. And that's a workout station. And then there's a massive playground down there. And Cove Boat Club are just down the end. This is a fantastic facility. Thank you to Cork County Council or Cove Town Council for giving it to us. Thank you to all of you that use it properly. And shame on you if you don't. That is it. I am Aaron. He is Charlie from Charlie and Me Air Camping Vlog from Cove. But thanks to our friends at the Motorhome Parking app. You can download it for free or buy the full version. Take care of yourselves. We see you again on a campsite near you. Bye bye. I was just cooking breakfast and I heard this rumble. That's what you get to see when you're parked here in Cove. <laughs>